I guess today was the first day of Instagram doing their fucking copy and paste uh, of fucking programming and released the uh, the TikTok opponent, which is called Reels. And it's like 15 second clips with the same concept of TikTok. Uh, so have you been, have you seen it yet? And then what are your thoughts <laughs> with the whole like TikTok being, you know, anti-government uh, about to be bought out, Trump saying, go fuck yourself. Yeah. So I did see someone post about Reels. It was, uh, I don't know, like some artist was basically like, what the fuck is Reels? Like, we already have TikTok. Now we need this shit too. Um, yeah, it's but really now difficult. It's Essentially, it's TikTok on your phone, right? Like, that's like yeah. that. I mean, on your Instagram where you're already fucking there 95% of the time. Like, I, yeah. dude, they did the same shit with Snapchat. Remember, like, the whole story yeah. thing? So that's, I'm glad I they did that because I had a ton of friends, including my, my girl, on snapchat at one point and i was just on instagram mainly and i was like what what's the point of me jumping on this shit? i can't figure it out that was why yeah. a moment where i'm like i must be getting old because <laughs> it's as simple as is it as it is to most people who probably use it i couldn't figure out the shit. i'm like why am i sending this privately to to these people like yeah. and then I, i'm like i'm supposed to only snapchat dumb shit. like i can't take nice photos because that's weird and yeah. I can't say so I was just like fuck that and then Instagram came in and was like you know what we got you we'll add this feature yeah. so I mean if reels if they nailed it the same way they nailed uh fucking biting snapchat then I'm all for it uh yeah that tiktok you know that potential sale might just fucking be like you know what never mind like <laughs> like Instagram just fucking ruined it for everybody yeah um but what are your thoughts on like the idea that Trump was making that such a fucking pivotal focus um, when literally we have one million other things that, are, that seem on the surface to be much worse than you yeah. know TikTok? I would only I would understand if if he was able to pinpoint like something nefarious that they that China's already done that like might jeopardize our lives to like a similar extent. But as far as I know, it seems like it's all been like. Uh, just speculation as far as them like stealing our data to take over the world and and all that like i i don't i haven't really seen any convincing arguments to to the point where like we needed to stop everything we're doing and ban this app that as far as we know is just full of fucking 12 year old boys and girls <laughs> dancing to the hottest song yeah, and yeah. putting on stupid ass filters and stuff so to me it seems kind of kind of like a, a scapegoat to be like Yo, don't pay attention to how we're fucking up with the virus. Like, worry about this app that you, you so-called, uh, you know, old folks hate and want to get rid of. Like, right. I'll, I'll do this thing because it's easy and quick and nobody really likes this shit anyways, sort of thing. Yeah, but then the funny thing is, like, the, the moment Microsoft is like, all right, we'll buy it. He's like, well, that's fine. You know, let Americans yeah. steal our data, but we can't have the Chinese steal our data. Like, that's like, that's fine. Yeah. Um, but dude, so I might be super naive. That's why like, I love having you that's in the industry. Like, what is your, per like, so for someone who's like on the, the tech side of things on a day-to-day -day basis, like what are the actual fears that people have of like a China, like getting our data, bro? Cause I've, I've heard of all these breaches in the past and it seems like on a fucking very Mac, like minor level, this has never affected my day-to-day -day life. So like, yeah. do, do I care if they have my data? Like, why should I be afraid of this? Like, how well, is it gonna affect my life? That's a good question. I, I th I've been thinking about that too. I think fundamentally people just don't want, like even if they don't think the government, whether the US or China government's gonna use it, to do damage or invade your privacy i think people feel like it's a, a fundamental right to just not have that data be accessible even if it's just like you crip walking in your room to like a drake song or something yeah, yeah like what exactly <laughs> but, I'm like, but you can have that shit like, yeah <laughs> yeah so, i mean i would hope people aren't dumb enough to be like fucking um lip syncing their social security number or some shit to yeah. a jack harlow song um but yeah, I think it's it's that, but maybe they feel like the government might be looking into it more and, and just like getting a sense of, you know, where the most active people are located and um, maybe even spying on like actual private conversations between users and shit like that. Like, I don't really know too much about what, how this data would 
be of that much use to to China, but it could also be some sort of prideful thing where they just don't want them having any sort of insight whatsoever as far as like yeah like demographics go and and shit like that even if it's not something they can necessarily harm us with but i i know like from the advertising standpoint like a lot of this data is helpful for targeting people with relevant ads so like people voluntarily go to facebook and say they're in a relationship and they like angry birds and action movies and shit and when it comes to the advertiser it's it's a lot easier to to serve you the proper yeah. ad so i think it's it's it has more benefits than than anything but um people who don't really understand that assume like mark zuckerberg is like you know going through dms and fucking jacking off to nudes and shit like it's not how it works so i think there's like an education an educational component that needs to take place for people to really understand like the the use of of data and i think zuckerberg tried to do it but like people just weren't listening yeah right when he explains it like he's explaining it to fucking like 75 year olds at yeah. the like whatever at the fucking senate where like they're asking him the dumbest i think one of them asked him about like twitter he's like well i don't own that company so that really has to do with me and shit right. um but yeah like, i guess like uh, from like what you just said another reason probably why why people don't feel comfortable like dude how many times have you been having a conversation about something and then you just get a fucking a million commercials going like display ads yeah. you're like dude what the fuck so yeah. i wonder like if like if like whoever can get our data like that easy um, like if they think they just are going to be susceptible to like spending more money. Cause like you, dude, you have the cheat code, like you literally know exactly what I like, you know, everything about me. And I yeah. get throwing these fucking images at my face with like nonstop. Like, well, I guess I do need to buy a new fucking phone. Um, so I wonder if they just think they'll be at a disadvantage. Um, yeah. but yeah, I don't know, like on, on a very minor level, like my individual life, I'm like, bro, take that fucking data, bro. Like, like that shit is not, like, dude, take that nude from fucking six years ago. Like, I, it was a bad angle anyway, bro. Like, kind of... <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think, uh, like, China's even taken over the Amazon thing because, or the market there, because I've been constantly targeted by these random ass emails saying, hey, friend, like, check out this cat feeder that we have. And hey, friend, check out the, this, uh, I don't know, these podcast equipment that this podcast equipment that you might find useful. And I'm like, how the fuck did they get my email? How do they know I like all this shit? I mean, it's pretty obvious. They probably know my purchase history or I bought something from yeah. them. But yeah, I, to your point, I think it's probably is that they just, the government just doesn't want them to have any advantage in, in any way. Yeah, like advantage over American fucking yeah. companies that are doing the same exact shit. Right. Like, that's the funny part. Like, bro, like, you know, like America, Amazon, they're all doing that shit. But it's like, yeah, but we can do it. We just don't want them doing it to us. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm sure it's more of that. Um, all right, man. In other news, I guess more music related, your voice. Sing-